Dun, 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 dun. Hello, it's Golden Penguin back with another video, and today we are going to be doing a review on the Skylander Ghost Rooster. Let's get into it. So, starting off with it, Ghost Rooster is a undead type Skylander from the first generation, also known as Spyro's Adventure. He has se several attacks, starting with Chain Whip, where he uses this chain that he has to attack enemies, and Skull Charge, where he turns into a giant green skull and uh, knocks, and, um, knocks down any enemies in his path. What, the next upgrades that you can get are Pain Chain, which increases the attack of the um, Chain Whip, and Metal Head, which increases the attack of the Skull Charge. Further on, you can get Ectoplasm Mode, which makes Ghost Rooster invincible to enemy attacks while he's in it, but he also c can't attack enemies, and he loses health slowly over time. And Haunt, which any enemies you defeat with your Chain Wimp will turn into ghosts, which will attack enemies in short range. After that, you have the, your two paths, which you have with basically every Skylander. First, you have Phase Shift, well, Phase Shift Burst. This is part of the Ectoplasm Mode section. When if you, This uh, Phase Shift Burst... Enemies take damage when you enter ectoplasm mode, so any enemies near you will take damage. Also, there's ecto-friendly, where it will upgrade your movement speed and you lose less health when you're in ectoplasm mode. And nightmare touch, where you can turn ghosts into explosions. This path, the ectoplasm mode path, isn't very recommended because it's not very useful, except for, I'd say, the last upgrade. But the other path is very useful. It upgrades your metal head or skull charge. Uh, it has the fright bite, which does more damage. Unfinished business, which makes ghosts from your skull charge and your chain whip. And life transfer, where you'll heal from eating ghosts with your skull charge. And then there's a lingering curse. Then there's the ability lingering curse, where the ghosts get have a bigger range, they are bigger, and they knock enemies away. So basically they do way more damage, and they have knockback. Now, Ghost Roaster himself, the design is pretty cool. He's a skeleton-like creature, with a, a vampire cape sor of sorts, and a chain tied to him, which he uses to attack. Now, his story, that's another thing we have to get into where he was a chef who lived on a hill, and one day while he was searching for sheep to get their wool, he fell into the Valley of the Undead where he became this thing. Also, you can move his jaw. I forgot to mention that. Anyway, so while he was in that valley, he became this thing. <laughs> and he started eating ghosts because he had nothing else to do. He went to a village and he started eating all the ghosts in there. But when the mayor found out, he tied this to the he tied the chain to Ghost Rooster so that way when it it would rattle and warn nearby ghosts that he was coming so that way he couldn't eat anything. When Eon found out, he Eon is the leader of Skylanders. I'll get into him in another video. He thought that Ghost Rooster could be useful for his team and brought him in as long as he promised only to eat evil ghosts and not to turn Hex, which is another Skylander, into a hamburger. Okay, so that's the review. If you liked it, click that like button and smash that bell so hard that your hand breaks so that way you get notified when I upload a new video. Also, subscribe. And, yep, that's it. Next review I'll be doing of a Skylander will probably be Boomer, which is a troll with dynamite for some reason. That's all for now. This is the Golden Penguin signing out.